These are the before and after pictures of Mace's back feet that we're going to be trimming today. There's Mace. All right. Right here, I'm just picking the hoof out like I normally do. Right there, I was trying to really make sure it was right there in the center of the frog is where it likes to get thrushed this time of year for different horses. Now I'm cleaning out those grooves so dirt and mud doesn't get stuck in there and cause thrush. So I try to open them up just a little bit, minimal frog cleaning. Try to pop the bars out with my nippers. She's pretty long, just like she was on the front. If you watch that video, and you can see here, I get right under that toe and pop it right off. I typically don't like to pair out the foot this much or the toe, but she's long, so I have to just to get that good base back because leaving that toe callus will help her be more comfortable barefoot without any hoof protection. And if you pair that off every single time you trim, that's when you start getting it so thin soles, which will cause a sore horse. And then they got to have shoes or some type of hoof protection at all times. This hoof's actually pretty clean. Just nipping around the hoof wall right there. And right now, checking, just kind of seeing, make sure what I need to do, rasp rise, if I'm level or not. stands pretty good. I've been trimming mace for probably 10 years now. Right here I'm just trimming back some of that hoof wall, getting the toe length and hoof wall length what I want it to be. Taking out a little bit more bar, a little more toe so she's not landing on her sole. I want the hoof wall to land but then the sole to take the weight also. I don't want a big sole sticking out over top of the hoof wall where she's only walking on that because that'll definitely make her sore. I'm trying to go at about a 45 degree angle here to start my Mustang roll and bring that break over back. Now we're starting on the top work. This is Mace's hind left foot. She really has great feet. All three of these horses do. Sometimes uh, her other pasture mate that I'll be posting a video series on next. She likes to chip up some, always has. I'm not sure why. Usually cracks are imbalance of minerals or nutrition problem. And a lot of people try to put top coat or oil on the hooves for cracks. I believe it's a mineral imbalance, just like some people don't take minerals from their food the best they should. And they have to take supplements and things exactly the same thing with horses if you could get their feed tested or their hay tested and find out what they're missing normally their feet will come right around if they're having cracking problems and when i'm using my hoof puppy you'll see some people clean up the whole hoof wall i like to just do the minimum that i have to even though if i do clean it up the hoof will recoat that whole foot with periopal right away within a few days now I'm starting on the hind right hoof. I will warn you in this section of video, there is a blooper to where when you see me move my stand out of the way, Mace decided it was time to go to the bathroom. So if you're not a fan of that, animals will be animals. It happens. Don't watch that section. Just close your eyes and when you hear me say it's clear, you can start watching again. Right here tried to warn you all right now it's clear to watch again i'm just going to finish nipping up i had almost had that whole hoof wall trim i just clear that medial heel in hoof world medial is the inside and lateral is the outside of the hoof no matter what hoof you're talking about medial will be the inside lateral will be the outside you can see there's not a lot of thrush or anything here on that lateral side there's a little spot of it i'm not too worried about it it doesn't seem to be too deep or I would have tried to investigate it further. And right here, you see I'm going at that 45 degree angle all the way around my hoof wall. It just really helps to start that bevel so when you go from the top, you're not having to try to feel for it as much or look at it. You can just know that I already put that 45 degree bevel on there to try to get that Mustang roll started.
You can see that center of the frog's nice and clean. Getting these big wings off the frog just so they don't start getting dirt and poop backed in there and creating thrush and more problems. And here for the top work, once again, she has really good feet. For the top work, I'm using my Cody James rafts like always. I just started using it a few years ago. They're great rafts, they're an American company. They make American made products and are proud about it. I actually called one time, my rasp was not seating right. I could not get it to tighten into its frame. They said, that's not right. We're gonna send you a brand new one and shipping for the old one because we wanna see what's wrong with it. And that's just great American customer service. Here's the hoof buffy. She just didn't feel like standing in that exact spot anymore. I may have had her pulled out too much, so I just position over to where she wants to stand and we continue to trim from there. This hoof buffy, when I make a video showing how I do glue on, I also use it. That's the reason I bought it because with glue on, you have to get that foot nice and clean and dry and really clean it up. And here's the before and after pictures again. Please like, subscribe, and share.